Hello, everybody. Welcome. DJ Vic Weber with you. We've got uh, Bitwig Studio uh, 2.3. Here it is. We're not supposed to be doing tutorials on it yet, so I'm not going to get into a tutorial about the program or the features. They've asked us not to do that, and I'm kindly going to abide by that rule since I am being supported on uh, the bitwig.com page in the community section. And I'm also currently uh, going through their certified training program. So a couple things I've committed to that I want to follow the rules. So like I said, it, even though it is Bitwig Studio 2.3 open in front of us, I'm not going to talk about it specifically in a tutorial setting. So what we're going to do, though, is if you can see right here in front of the mic, in front of my face, we've got uh, Ableton Push 2 open. So I went ahead and downloaded this script. Well, actually, I'll pull it up right here. This script right here, I go to bitwig.com, go into the community section, and under controllers, you will find a bunch of different scripts. So depending on what uh, MIDI controller you currently have or own, you know, here's Ableton push for Bitwig, and then the various ones here that, uh, you know, the uh, APCs and all the other stuff. So. I have the APC40, which is this guy right here. It's not plugged in right now. And I've got the Push 2. So both of them come in really handy. The Push 2, I find, is more, for me, uh, production-oriented, uh, more of studio-bound. It really doesn't see much road time or travel or stage time. But the uh, APC40 is the big live performance guy for me. So it's a little bit more, um, you know, it's, it's not, uh, even though it was like 500 bucks, it just feels like it's um, something I'm not so afraid to have out in a backpack or out traveling around with. But anyhow, bitwig.com, community, controllers, and then you can download the script right here if you have push to. And then follow all the uh, installation instructions. It's a little tricky with the installation, so there's a couple documents uh, that you can look through and read through. I'm not going to get into all that. It took me probably about 20 minutes to get it all going. But um, what's really cool now is uh, not only does it perform well, but Push 2 has the, dis the display. And uh, whoever wrote the script, um, I forget his name. I saw it in some of the formats. Anyhow, big shout out. He did a great job. So, uh, But this, the new script he's written, the updated one, actually takes advantage of the display on Push 2, which is really cool. So I can see all my instruments and controls and different knobs and stuff right here. So what, what it does is you... you you run a program through, um, it's all written in Java, so you run a program through your terminal in Mac, and it'll pull up this program right here, which you can set your display settings, your font, your color, your background. You can you pretty much customize how you want that to look right, right here for you so it's easy on the eyes in any way. It uh, feels good to you, and you can set up different things here. So that runs in the background. Let me get rid of the website behind Bitwig. So here's Bitwig. And uh, we've got a MIDI clip open here, and I'm going to actually uh, gonna delete it because I want to show you guys this really, really, really cool aspect of what's going on here. So we'll get this guy back open. We'll open up another MIDI clip, and it's blank. So yeah, as you can see right here on uh, Push 2, I've just got a bottom row of lights lit, lit up here. And this um, layout, you can choose different layouts on Push 2 by holding Shift, and the layout button, you can get into some more detailed stuff. But on this particular layout for this particular script, this is called Raindrops. And it's just so awesome. Totally cool. It's one of the coolest things I've seen. So I was actually uh, in the certification class with uh, Thavius Beck. So big shout out to Thavius. And he turned us on to this today. And I thought I'd share it with you guys because I just thought it was the coolest thing. So he's the one that kind of showed us this template, or not this template, but... Uh, this particular layout on Push 2 and how it interacts and stuff. And it's something I haven't seen on Ableton and been able to do with Push 2 on Ableton. So immediately when I saw it, it just blew my socks off. So once again, big shout out to Thavius. I don't want to let him think that I kind of stole his thunder or anything, but he took time to share it with us in our certification class today. And I wanted to pass along the knowledge. So basically what it is, is this bottom row is my... Uh, notes, and then wherever I enter up in all these blank areas, wherever I enter up these rows, the note is going to 
travel up to where the button I've touched and then travel back down. And it, that'll be its performance time. And basically, it'll start to look like raindrops moving around. I guess that's why they probably called this particular layout raindrops. But I'm going to turn the mic down and push it out of the way and just kind of goof around let you guys kind of see uh, how cool it is and see if we can come up with a really cool uh, vibe here. I've got Nerve on the audio channel. Just got some basic beats going, just kind of give us some context to our rhythm here. So let's get back and let me see. Yeah, let me get back here to the layout. I changed it by clicking on that. Um, shift, layout, 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 layout. Hold shift, oh, sorry, shift. There we go. So the raindrops, and uh, yeah, let's check it all out. Like I said, I'm going to push the mic out of the way so I can goof around here. So, all right. Oh, and I've just got, what do I got here on the channel? Just got polysynth. I have like a plucky preset that I've been goofing around with, but maybe we'll, I might grab a different synth and see what we can do with that. So anyhow, let's check it out. pretty wild stuff I could probably spend hours just goofing, goofing around with this because it's such a unique way and intuitive way to come up with grooves so man this is really cool so what I want to do is I'm going to stop this and you can see what's cool too is as I was doing that it's keeping the MIDI clips here for me whatever I enter in the MIDI notes and everything it's all getting recorded in there for me so let's go back now and let's see what we can do with a different synth so I'm going to delete this MIDI clip. Actually, I don't have to delete it. I can... Yeah, I'll just delete it because you can tap through those and take all the notes out, but that's a little bit a longer process than I want to go through. So that's blank again, and let's go ahead and grab a different synth here real quick. Let's grab... Um, I don't know. Let's get a third-party synth. Let's, let's grab Serum. Oh, wrong letter. can't see my keyboard. There we go. I need a keyboard with some backlights. That would be dope. All right, so Serum, and I'm just going to grab one of my presets from the Volume 2. Uh, let's get a... Oh, goodness. I can't even remember what some of these sound like. Um, Deep Space, Cookie Monster, Prometheus. That's... Uh, we need something plucky. Well, it doesn't have to be, but it just sounds better that way. So do I have anything in my presets that are plucky? Maybe one of the ARPs, but I'll just go get one of the, uh, one of the ones that come. Let's see. Let's 
Let's see what that one sounds like. Play the clip. Yeah, we can work with that. So let me goof around, see if we can come up with a groove with this one. So I don't want to make this too long because it's easy for me to even forget I was recording a video and just start goofing off. It's very addictive, as you can see. So if you've got uh, Ableton Push 2 and you haven't gone over to bitwig.com and checked out the controllers, download this uh, script, check it out, and uh, yeah, have fun. Um, again, I just want to caution you, the installation is a little tricky. I don't want to intimidate you either. I mean, if you just, he's got a sheet there that you can follow, but even even following that and being a little bit, computer savvy you can, might run into a hiccup or two just have patience you'll get it all sorted out it didn't like i said it didn't take me too terribly long so big shout out again to thavius uh for turning me on to it and i just wanted to kind of pay it forward and turn you guys on to it so the raindrops layout ableton push two a lot of fun a great way to come up with some cool grooves and oh uh, yeah I'll be talking to you guys real soon with a lot of fun uh updates and tutorials for um Ableton 10, now that it's out today, uh, Bitwig 2.3 is obviously going to be released later this month. I'll have a bunch of cool tutorials set up for you on that as well. And then we'll do some more Logic Pro stuff for all you Logic Pro uh, fans out there. So, all right, have a good one, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.